I want to tell you about a movie made in 1988, starring Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise. It calls a rain man. We first meet the main character in the pot when he receiving a spot card for selling. He is a businessman with big money debts. He knows the cost of money. His name is Charlie Babbitt. At this day, he takes a notice that his father is dead and he must come to the family house for inheritance. Then he hears that he is not a sole heir and only that he would have a Buick Roadmaster convertible with upgraded engine and gibbered roses. Somebody inherited a three and a half million dollars. This didn't like Charlie. In accordance with the terms of that certain instrument executed concurrently, Herewith. What does that mean in the last part? There Charlie talks his girlfriend Susanna about his imaginary friend in the childhood. His name Rain Man. When I was a kid and I got scared, the Rain Man would come and sing to me. Rain what? You know, one of those imaginary childhood friends. What happened to him? Nothing, I just grew up. He came to Walbrook, the boarding house of mentally ill people. There, Charlie learned that he had an older brother, Raymond Babbitt. How do you know this car? I definitely know this car. It's 949 Buick Roadmaster, straight eight, Fireball eight. Only 8,095 production models. Dad lets me drive slow on a driveway, but not on Monday. Definitely not on Monday. Who's your dad? Sanford Babbitt. Who? Sanford Babbitt? 10961 Beechcrest Street, Cincinnati, Ohio. That's my address. I mean, what is it with this guy? Hey, who's your mother? Eleanor Babbitt. Eleanor? Died January 5th, 1965 after a short... Who the hell illness. are you? Uh-oh. Huh? Hold, wait a second. Where are you going? 13 minutes to Judge Wapner. Wapner? The people's court. Here. Hold on, wait a second here. I want to ask you a question. But you're a witness to real participants are not... Hey, I'm talking to you. Casey Penny, California... Bruner, court. Well, who is this guy? Raymond is your brother. He has functional autism. It means that he can do difficult mathematic operation at one second. For example, Raymond can count scattered toothpicks and say an exact result. But Raymond can't adapt in constantly changing situations. Raymond's life was scheduled by the clock. He started nervous when he can't do something in time, for example, to take a dinner. On Wednesday at 20 and a half he constantly eat a fish sticks and a desert lemon jelly. He goes to bed at 11 post meridium. Categorical. Orange soda, orange soda. Pause, 1231. I gotta go, he's starting to rock him on. Yeah, 1231, that's definitely 1231. It's okay, no. How did you figure the train parts with the plane? Where is he? That's a four fish sticks. Huh? It's supposed to be eight fish sticks. Eight? There's eight. At that time, few people knew what an autism was and who autistic people were. Charlie didn't understand that too. All of this can demonstrate this sin. History in United States. I may not have the days exactly right or the years, but I, I'm more or less familiar with the history of the United States. And I love to tell a story he's artistic. of the Pony Express. No, he's autistic. And it was initiated. I'm not it, familiar it, it, with that. Uh, what West, is the exact nature of the problem? St. George, Missouri. He, uh, he lives North in a world of his own. In one of the most visited motels, Raymond tells Charlie that he was a rain man. This was he who sang him song in childhood. 
and he left them in winter after their mother's death. I think that's funny. Yeah, huh? funny rain, yeah, funny tea. What'd you say? Funny tea. What'd you rinse? Why'd you say... F- Why'd you say funny teeth? You what? said funny teeth, funny rain man. Rain man? Yeah. I said rain man? Yeah, funny rain man. Was I trying to say Raymond and it came out Rain Man? Yeah, funny Rain Man. You? You're the Rain Man? Who took this picture? T.A.D. Listen. My father died. You know that he died last week? Did they tell you that? I don't know. You don't know if they told you or you don't know what dead is? That means he's he's gone. He's not with us anymore. He's at the cemetery. You want to you wanna go see him at the cemetery, Ray? I don't know. Does that mean maybe? Does that mean maybe you want to go? I don't know. You know, I live in Los Angeles. I thought maybe you'd go to Los Angeles like to see a Dodger game. Go, go see the... Go see the Dodgers play. Today's an off day. Oh, we don't have to go today. Monday, no game schedule. Just thought maybe you'd like to go to Los Angeles with me, you know, go see Fernando Valenzuela pitch. Fernando Valenzuela pitch Saturday, not scheduled to pitch till Wednesday. He's going to pitch on Wednesday? Wednesday. Well, I'm not doing anything on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Let's go to L.A. Yeah. <laughs> 